Welcome to the fourth and final week of Real Simple's Take Back Dinner Time Challenge. I'm Kristen, the editor of Real Simple, and this week's theme is Get Connected. Here to help us, as always, is Allie, our food director. So, so many of us have these idealized notions of family dinner. Right. It sounds great, and when you all sit down together, it either kind of devolves into complete chaos right. or stony silence from your children, right. speaking from experience. So, you know, we, for example, have played this game for years with our older boys called Two Truths and a Lie. Mm -hmm. And in Two Truths and a Lie, everyone says three things that happened to them that day. Right. Two of them are true, and one of them is a lie. Right. And then the other members of the family around the table have to guess which thing is not true. Right. And then you get points if you guess correctly. Right. The problem is that's our one game and we've been playing it for right. years and everybody's a little, you know, we so need, you need some, some new materials. materials. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, along those lines, um, I love the game uh, Best Thing, Worst Thing. So okay. you go around the table and everyone says the best thing that happened to them that day and the worst thing that happened to them that day. So Easy. it gives you an opportunity to vent, but it also forces you to be a little positive and hopefully start some conversation. And even little kids. Little kids like can do that little, too. She could absolutely could do that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and then also in our newest issue of Real Simple Family, we have a conversation wheel, which you know, okay. um, which is really fun. And this is on new stance now? Yep. I'll spin it. Let's see. Okay. So you got, you can't time travel, but you can send one object back in time to anyone you want. What would you send and whom would you send it to? Do I have to answer that? We can get back to okay. it. Okay. <laughs> so this has a lot of great, a lot of fun really just questions. great conversation starters. So that's another game you can play. There's a lot of great things you can do just with a pad of paper and a pen. Okay. Um, one game that I like is where you invite everyone at the table to write down something nice about someone else at the table anonymously. And then you put them in a hat and you pull them out one by one yeah. and you read them off and you try and figure out who said them. And so my boys would use actually that game, write down one nice thing to write sarcastic things about their brothers, <laughs> but then they would laugh. Right, exactly. And so that could be its own game. Exactly. Another thing is a joke competition and that you can do even with the littlest ones. I mean there's nothing cuter than a little kid that like had learned a couple jokes yeah. and can tell it and get big laughs. So you know make it competitive. I know your boys are really competitive yes. and you know have a joke competition. You don't need electronics. You no. don't need anything complicated. No. You don't need a board game with a thousand pieces. Right. And there's nothing better to silence the table than like how was your day. Okay so got that no more how was your day and how was school. We have a lot more interactive fun ways to get your family to feel connected while we're having a family dinner. If you want more great tips like this, come back to realsimple.com every day this week as part of our Take Back Dinner Time Challenge. You'll find lots of terrific ideas to help us all feel like family dinner really is family dinner for everybody.